Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, guys. I mean to tell you, I have already had an amazing encounter with God. It all started because I was watching Bayou Preacher's video this morning. I found myself suddenly crying. Then I started praying, and all of a sudden, I was singing in the Spirit. I started hearing my people are not praying to me more like they should. Tell them again, I long for their fellowship. My people are more concerned about when this is going to happen, or when is that going to happen in this world. Don't they know it's all up to me? Everything that happens on earth is in my timeline and not theirs. They have become complacent because this is the instant generation. I want my coffee, so they push a button and out it flows. I want food now. I don't want to cook, so they drive to a fast food store. They want information, so they turn on their computers or iPad or cell phones, and it is instantly there. They don't have to wait weeks or months for mail like it used to be when it first started. There are special airplanes, trucks that deliver to your homes. They are upset because they can't control my timeline. You have to wait upon me. Your God. Don't you see I am the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow? Everything was set into motion thousands of years ago. So you have to be patient and wait upon me to say it's time for this or that. When you keep saying, I wish it was over, don't you realize that you are living in the best generation? Didn't I say in Psalms 91, He shall cover thee with his wings, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. I am saying that when life gets too much for you at times to come and hide under my wings, you have been listening to and believing everything that you hear. But I say, my child, that you will only hear the truth from me. Due to your own will, you have not been coming to me for the truth. And now that you have woken up to all of Satan's lies, you want instant gratification. Once again, my child, it doesn't work on your time timing but mine my word also says thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor the arrow that fly by day i have asked you many times to pray for your protection and to put a shield of protection around you when was the last time that you have asked me for a shield of protection when you pray and give me praises of thanksgiving, know that it will be done. How much faith do you really have? Have I not also told you, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. For those who have ears, let them hear. And for those who have eyes, let them see. Open your eyes and ears to what is happening around you. Beware of your surroundings and listen to me. You will know what to do. I will tell you where to go and when to go. There are some of you that I have been whispering in your ear to go now to places that are safe. But you stay where it is an increased chance of being hurt. Then you blame me for your inaction. Open your ears, my child, and listen to what I am telling you. Talk to me more. 
Find time for your Lord and Savior. Learn what is my timing. Get away from all this instant society. Come back to me and my timing. Do you talk to your neighbors? Do you know that your friends have problems and need your kindness, your smile, your lending them a hand? Have you checked out the elderly to see if they need some food? Do you care about anyone other than yourself? Get away from what I want or I need. Did you bring your wants and needs to me, your father, to take care of them? Most would say no to that question because you know in my time is not instant. And that is what you want right now. There is so much wrong information going out to you, and yet you are still believing Satan's lies. Read Psalms 91 every day and let it get in your mind and heart. Didn't I say I will give my angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways? They shall bear them up in their hands, lest that thou dast dash thy foot against a stone. I am your protector. I have protected you and loved you more than you realize. Come to me now. I am still knocking on your door for you to open it. Trust in me. Talk to me. Pray to me. Sing me songs of worship. Oh, my child, it is time to come away from this instant society. It's time for you to come back to me and my timing. You will be provided for. Don't worry what tomorrow will bring because I will take care of you today. And when tomorrow comes, I will also provide for that day also. Not all of you will still be here tomorrow, but with me in paradise. Say kind words to your family today. They may be with me tomorrow. There is a purpose for everything that happens, and you will not know what that purpose is. So live for today, my children. Come back and pray to me. Love me and worship me. I love you as only your Father in heaven can love you. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah and amen, brothers and sisters. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today and every day, all day long, repent, repent, repent. 